Hi there everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, how to tie uh, an adjustable uh, tie off an adjustable knot for Nicholas. I use this for for all of my uh, Ponamu carvings. Um, can be used for any sort of necklace really though. I use it on a um, a three plat of a one mil waxed waxed cord, and I use that one mil waxed cord for the um, for tying the adjustable knot as well. Um, so let, let's get into it and, and see how we go about doing that. So I've got a, uh, a piece of a cord here, I know about half a metre long, um, doesn't matter about the ultimate length of this. But um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to tie a whipping using this. One more waxed braid cord onto the end of one of uh, these plaits here. Okay, so it's just been tied off with a loose overhand knot. So you make that into a loop, and then you get your get your one more cord here, and you want to tie a whipping around this. Now, if you're not sure on how to do a whipping, you want to check out the my video on how to do a whipping. Um, I'll run you through how to do this. It's pretty hard to see on one mil, um, on one mil black cord, but I've uh, got a good video with um, some coloured cords on it, and you get the idea of, of what's going on. Um, I'll, I'll put the link for for that video in the bottom of here, and uh, getting your head around that this knot around the whipping is, is really important to our. Uh, doing this successfully. Okay. Don't want to tighten it up too much yet, but it does want to be uh, firm. Okay, so I think that's going to be long enough. Get a bit loose at that end. That should be long enough there. So I'm going to Pull the big loop through now. Right, so I'll see if we can lay this out a bit. So there's a big loop down here. There's a end sticking out that way, and here's another a long end out of here. So when I'm pulling this one through, it's um, pulling that loop all the way through. In the middle of the whipping. Okay. So now we have a nice whipping on the end of this, on the end of the plait. So next step is you want to get both ends and you put put the other end of your necklace through that loop. Okay, like so. And then you want to slide the whipping up so it's right up against this. Right up against it, okay. And once you're up there, um, then you can really crank on these two bits here to tighten this whipping up. So I'm going to use my pliers for this end, and the shorter end, and the longer end. I'm going to uh, wrap this around my hand a little bit, like so. I can really crank on this. Alright, nice and tight. That's what we got there. So that's the knot done. All we've got to do is tidy it up now. And what this has done is created that, that loop. If we can see all of it in one go. I'm not sure that's much better, but we can see all of it in one go and created a, a loop around the other side of the necklace which um, will slide through, but if pulled, only if pulled hard though. Okay, so that's tight enough, tension enough that it won't come undone just by being worn around the neck. So, tidy it up, get your nail clippers or sharp scissors or something you get in there close with. This is where you want to find the end of the, uh, end of the core, get right in there and clip that off. 
the end of the cord off this way. And also right up against it, that part there. Like so. And uh, quick singe to the end to get any stray hairs. And, uh, help bind it all together by melting the wax a little bit. And there you go. That's one end. So that's the easy part. The tricky part is to do the same thing, or end up with the same thing, but on this part, on this end here, wrapped around this guy. Okay? But we can't do it the same way because there isn't an end for it, the uh, whipping to be tied around. So, this is what we want to do. We're going to use a pull through. Okay? This is going to be my pull through cord. Okay, so using a pull through. And I've got another um, piece of 1mm wax cord here. This is this only about 30, maybe 40 centimeters. And this is going to be done a bit differently. It's going to achieve the same result, but it's going to be done differently. So I'm going to make sure I've got my cord around the right place. I lay my pull through cord with the loop towards the long end of the um of the whipping cord, with my pull through cord and the loop down that end. Okay, and I hold all that together. Now this is going to be laid across that way, and then I'm going to do the whipping around it back this way, put it through the pull through, and then pull the end back all the way through the cord. So I'm going to start by laying the middle of that across. Like so here's the long end of it. And I'm going to start wrapping that around, heading back that way. There's my pull through cord out here. I'll get a few wraps and be able to show you show you what the uh, whipping is looking like. I'm just going to pull the long tight end, the long end tight a little bit. Okay. Go around again. So we're starting to get some, I don't know what you call them, a couple of uh, loops around. Now, just like last time that you're doing this, you want it to be firm and to be holding it together. Okay, so that's probably enough. Enough wraps. Okay, so just a reminder again, let's see when we see the whole picture. Here's the cord, this isn't the necklace cords. This here, these two are the um, pull through loop. This one here's the other end of the pull through loop. And this here is the one I've been wrapping around, and here's the other long end of that wrap. So I'm going to go around one more time and I'm going to get this guy and put him through the pull through cord now. Okay. So now I want him to be butting up against the end of that so I can I'm going to pull these pull throughs tight and it's going to sort of cinch it down and lock it in so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So there we go, we're ready. All right, we can just see the pull through cord there. So what we're gonna do now is pull this through, which will draw this piece of uh, cord all the way through under and leave us with our finished knot. Now we'll end up tightening it a bit, so it does make it a little bit trickier, but um, it's possible. So what you wanna do is you wanna be holding on to this and this and all these three here at this end and then you want to use your pliers for this end to pull it through okay so we'll tighten it a bit but it should slot it all through and then we'll try and um, cinch the whole knot up against the um, right part of the necklace ok 
Okay, so. Alright, let's see if I can stay on camera screen while I do this. Alright, we got it. There it is, it's coming out that end now. Get a close up of that. So there's one end there, there's one end there, coming out that other end. Now, hopefully it's not too tight and we can um, adjust these bits under it before we find, do the final tightening. So now you want to slide the um, slide the the plat through the whipper whipping, and so it butts up right against the uh, the other necklace, like so. And there's the same process as what we did for the uh, the other side. So we got can make it tight now, tighten it. Right there, and now we're going to clip off the ends. And then there's our uh, second little whipping. Done. So this is the uh, the whole thing. Whole thing there you can see on the screen now. So to adjust it, okay, you grab both knots and maybe you slide them forward like that. There you go. Made it shorter, and they slide back the other way. Make it bigger, okay. Now individually they slide pretty easy, but once you put them both together, okay. Let's see if you pull. Let's hold it here. If we pull on this part here, okay, I'm putting quite a bit of force in there. That's quite strong. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's how I do my adjustable necklace cords for uh, the the pendants I carve. Hit me up if you have any questions or thoughts. Um, there you go. I'll um, put a link in the uh, description for how to tie this this uh, lashing here as well, this binding. If you want to give that one a go. Right. See you later, guys. Thank you.